Yo, I'm Roland Dickey Jr. Let's talk about the anatomy of a brisket real quick, okay? Because you've got two pieces, okay? So you got the flat, which is the lean piece, and then you've got the point, which is the top piece, also historically known as the decal. That is the fattier piece. That's really the piece that I love. And so quite often, many cuts of beets have a lean and a fatty part to them. And I always like the fatty part. And that's what I love about the brisket is the, it's the point. My grandfather, Travis Dickey, he came up with this recipe, how to smoke it just right, and we've basically followed the same recipe for 80 years, okay? And so we cook our brisket at 225 degrees from 12 to 14 hours, depending on the size of the brisket. There's really about a, a seven to a 12 pound average when it comes to, to beef briskets. Now, there's two different schools of thought on cooking briskets, okay? Some people are wanna cook it hot and fast, like Myron Mixon, friend of mine, great guy, and he goes for a lot fewer hours, I mean like 350, we go 225, the low and slow method, which we've perfected in our type of cooking. But there's a couple things that you've gotta do with brisket to really make it right, okay? You've gotta season it right, which we have a very proprietary blend of seasonings that have just the right essence of Camino and garlic and salt and coarse ground black pepper and a few other ingredients that I won't reveal here. And that's what gives it that nice bark, that with lots of smoke, lots of hickory wood, gives it just a beautiful bark around it. And then you gotta cook it just right so that smoke penetrates the meat. And then you get that smoke ring that makes it just like absolutely perfect, okay? But there's one more attribute of a brisket that really stands out against everything else, and that is moisture. If you have all of those other things, but it's dried out, it sucks. I mean, you don't want it. Nobody wants it, okay? And so you gotta keep it moist, and that's really where the art comes in. And so it's moist, it's juicy, and oxidation is bad. You slice it, you serve it fast. Everything that you can do, every like aspect that you can make it like a little bit more interesting, like, you know, hey, the guy next door in his backyard barbecue, like, he ain't doing this. And so you can make it just, just make it a little bit more interesting. Yes. Everything picturesque, just Instagram the ass out of it. So in our quest to make sure that you are the pit boss of your backyard, make sure that you join us right here on this channel and we will see you pit bosses later. For more barbecue content, like and share this video and ring the bell. You'll get notifications when the new video appears. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and barbecueathome.com.